it turn out. I hope that it just this is just the start. The Berlin Wall didn't fall in one day, and we have to build this movement into a giant mass movement across the country. So this is a good start. We'll be back on Budget Day on the 5th of December, and we intend having a People's Assembly in the new year to build protests and, and hopefully strikes against the next tranche of uh, payment to the um, bondholders, which is about three and a half billion and is due to be paid in March. So this isn't going to go away easy, you know, we're going to fight them and I think today is a good start. We'll be going to the Doyle on December the 5th. Um, this campaign, the household tax campaign, will be assembling at the Central Bank at half past four and marching to the Doyle, but people will be gathering there from about four o'clock. And if the crowd is big enough, we're going to ring around the dial like they do in Madrid. It's all about surrounding Parliament and getting the people to impact the message on the inside that we're not taking any more pain. There's no gain from the pain. Austerity is not working. So we want to smash this austerity agenda. I work five days a week and I'm being taxed beyond belief. I'm paying the universal social charge and I'm not going to pay the, the, the household charge. No way. We're here to stop the government misappropriating taxes belonging to the Irish people to pay off debts that don't belong to the Irish people. Are you angry about it? We're very angry about it. I, up until now, have been a law-abiding citizen and I am taken to the streets now. I'm a grandmother of eight and a mother of five and I'm taken to the streets today to tell Enda Kenny and Eamon Gilmore and the rest of them that Irish taxes are for all the people, citizens of Ireland, for the benefit of the citizens of Ireland, not for the benefit of European central banks and German citizens. And if the Germans have said that their taxpayers shouldn't pay off bank debt, why should Irish taxpayers pay bank debt?